Alright y'all, so we back with another video and today's video is going to be on ABA's best block breakers and this is in my opinion so please do not say oh you're stupid you're this you're this you're that because th in my opinion these are the best like block breakers I've seen in ranked like used in ranked how they use them and yeah alright so for the first character obviously we got Deku so Delaware Smash in my opinion the reason why this is like one of the best guard breakers is because sometimes you gotta be like really paying attention and if they like randomly throw it out it has it's like really long range they can randomly throw it out like anywhere right it's kind of fast if you if you really think about it it's kind of fast and then like it's, it's just a long range guard breaker who doesn't like a long range guard breaker and then obviously he has detroit smash you have two ways of using detroit smash you can use it either in front has a pretty long charge up but it can still hit you can combo extend off of that obviously or you can use the leap in detroit smash which is kind of hard to land but when you do land it it's really op like you it's it's a, just a really good like combo starter I don't know, I'll, I'll wait till it's off cooldown but i can show you like what i mean by uh delaware smash being really good so like this is like about uh four gray block blocks away i don't feel like counting all of them but you no know, you can snipe them and it went all the way back to that back wall back there like it's just if you know how to aim properly with it, it can be really good. Or, it's just like a free 20 damage. You either take the 20 damage or you get guard broken. Which, I mean, it would be smarter to get guard broken because they're not going to do anything from this range. Actually, they could leap and then Detroit Smash. So yeah, Delaware Smash is a pretty good... That's why I say it's one of the top guard breaks. And then, Dela I'm going to use Detroit Smash now. It's like that. You can Usually it doesn't hit, but if you know how to hit it, it can hit. Um, this like both of the, both of his guard breaks are really good and they can be used situational. Like Detroit Smash, I'm not even gonna lie, I can barely get this. Move. It's just an awkward move to use. But if you can land it, it's really good for combos because it does a lot of damage. And then you know obviously leap. But you can also just like as long as you're in the air and you use Detroit Smash, you can either like slam on top of them or just like use it in front of them and it'll guard break them. All right, so for the second character we have Ichigo. I really don't gotta say much about this character. He's just like, if you have the mask on, it's just GG's. Being completely honest. But okay, so Getsuga, without the mask, is like a long range. He does one slash, and then like one of those red slashes, and it hits them. It's obviously long range. And then impact slashes, I think it's, no, it's not impact slashes, it's flash strike. Flash strike with the mask on, it does two strikes. And you go like, it's like having a. Uh, what is the dash called? Uh, flash. No. I forgot what the dash is called for. I think one of them is called Sonido. So if you have Sonido, it like, like you run at them like that, and then you do two slashes, and it can guard break. And then Getsuga, you know, does really good damage. And it's like, it's actually kind of fast. Like, it doesn't look too fast, but when you get into a fight, like, it's actually kind of fast. And, like, it's kind of hard to react to. Because, like, first reaction, like, if, if you see, it, like, an Ichigo, like, right here... And then, like, in your face, and then you just randomly use their guard breaker, they're gonna, it's, it's like a free combo for them. And that's why, I like, that's why I think he's, like, one of the top characters right now. I haven't played this game in a while. Don't, don't hate on me. But I'm pretty sure he's still one of the top characters. Just because of, like, his, his guard breaks. Alright. For the next character, I feel like I'm gonna get hate for this. But let's be honest. Firefly Light? is pretty good like it's an auto track guard break right the only thing that's bad about it is they can cancel it and like you know obviously you don't want your guard broke being canceled but if you if you play like at a safe distance i think it can activate from like right here and you just guard break their um you, if you just guard break them then you can just run up and you know obviously start your combo but I think it's a really good guard break because either you sit there and you take however much damage it is, the 17 damage, which is, it can be a lot in a fight, it can be a lot. So you either take the 17 damage and potentially get to comboed, or you guard break and like get a combo off like that. I don't know, I said that really weird. You either, let me, let me just re-say that. You either take the 17 damage from the guard break. Or you guard and get guard broken and then take a full combo, which is you gotta decide in like a split second because it's gonna come, you know. 
Or you can use a long range move and cancel it. But most likely you won't be canceling it. Well, I, I barely get canceled with it. So that's why I think it's one of the top guard breaks. Just because of the fact that you can you can use it. I say this is like close to mid range kind of. And you can just like firefly light and then back up if you really need to. And then the guard break will still hit them. So, you know. Alright, so for the next character, um, I don't have him unlocked on this account, but it's Endeavor. But this is like the closest character I could kind of like find to his um, his guard breaker. So, Todoroki, he has like Glacier, and it, it's basically like this huge guard breaker, and a huge hitbox, and yeah, that's like what Endeavor shit is. It's like extremely big, and it goes a really long range. It's kind of hard to like dodge also. So, it, if you do play Ende Endeavor in rank, I don't know, I haven't faced him in a long time because people don't play on him anymore, but the last time I did face him, it was just probably the most annoying shit I've ever witnessed. Like, cause he can just run and then he can just spam his guard break and just get out of there. Like that's what that's what usually you would want to do with Endeavor, because it's just it's just free hit points at that point. And you get your awakening and it's GG's, you know? But I would say that that um uh guard break is really, really good. Like it just obviously you got the long range you got the big hit box and it's free hit and by the way this is not in order if you guys want me to do another one like a part two in order i can do that but these are not in order these are just like what i find on the go because i wanted to like quickly make this video because I w i'm trying to i want to at least try and double upload today but i don't know what i'm gonna upload all right so for our next character we have gojo gojo has two really good guard breakers but his character, like, before, this is the reason why he was so OP, but his character now is just, yeah, I don't know. I don't think he's that good anymore, but, so, for his first block break, he has Red Reversal. Red Reversal, it, like, guard breaks, and it, like, TPs you, or it's supposed to TP you behind them, and it's, like, a free combo. So, that's why I say, but you have to hit the guard break. If you don't hit the guard break, then uh, it's just, like, it's just a move that you use. You, like, you don't, you know, it doesn't do the TP, my bad. And then for backhand, backhand, I think it does the same thing. Oh, wait, shoot. Well, it does the same thing, but I don't think you can combo extend off a of backhand anymore. It's still good, but, you know, like, it, it's not as good as it was before. So, yeah, I, it's, it's a little weird. The, the red reversal is a little weird, but it still teleports you near the person. So, like, you know, if you need to, you could red reversal into, like, a backhand or something. I don't know what the combos it is with this character anymore because, you know, he's not used that much, but... Yeah, hold on. Actually, I'll try it. Let's see. Red reversal. It's a backhand. And you would have to, like, completely turn around. And then you can maybe, like, collapsing blue into an M1 combo. Because, you know, obviously, the character keeps glitching out every single time. Or not glitching out, but ragdolling every single time I use backhand. Alright, I forgot to record the outro, so I'm going to say it now. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.